Ladies and gentlemen, her name is Ingrid Andrus, and she is this month's Up Next artist on Apple Music. And she's in some pretty incredible company with the likes of Billie Eilish, Khalid, and Bad Bunny. Please welcome Ingrid Andrus. So I was doing a little prep, and I've just gotten to spend time with the album, which I love. Yay. And I, but I was doing just like the basic Google search. And you know how Google will auto-suggest, like people also ask uh-huh. about Ingrid Andrus? Oh. One of yours was, what genre is Ingrid Andrus? Interesting. And I thought that was really interesting too. That's really cool. I what think. It, yeah. I don't know. No, I think it is. I would take it, well, one, I think it's a compliment, but I also think it's interesting that fans are curious, like, what genre you're putting yourself in. How are you defining genre? And mm-hmm. I want to hear that too. Like, how are you defining genre? And does it matter to you? And um, I think because I grew up not, influenced by just one genre. Like I literally bounced around to every music to me in general is so good as long as I can feel the emotion. Mm. So I feel like that's probably why people are like, what genre is she? Because I just do what I like. I, I write things that I love, which to me seems more country, but it's not, everybody has their own definition of country, just as people have their own definition of pop. Like pop is Migos and Adele, but they sound nothing alike. (laughs) And I feel like country has the ability to be that genre too. We just haven't really explored that yet. Talk more about influences. I know that in the, like you've mentioned Dixie Chicks and Faith Hill, but I'd be really curious to hear more about that and who else is on that list. Yeah. um, So my mom was a huge John Denver fan before I was born. And so that was pretty much, she listened to him all the time. And so that was kind of my first introduction to like the country sound um, and just like the singer songwriter vibe. Um, And I used to sing his songs on karaoke and it was a lot of that. It was a lot of Stevie Wonder and Whitney Houston and Doobie Brothers, a very soulful, um, lots of different interesting chords, a little more jazz gospel. Um, And then my dad really only listened to classical music. Really? Yeah. Like what? Like, um, like was he a violinist or is he a, no, no, he was a sports guy. He was a baseball coach. Literally. I think it was because when he had to work the players out, cause he was there, he worked them out and they would all listen to like heavy metal and rap. And I think by the time he got to his car, he just wanted to listen to Handel's Messiah. Yeah, Because that was literally the only CD in his car. Oh, that is really, that's kind of cool, yeah. actually. Will you talk a little bit about lyrical style? For I, I think you have such an identifiable kind of approach to storytelling and, and lyric writing. And I, I think that is, some of what makes you, I think, stand out so much. Mm -hmm. But I'd love to hear about how you kind of approach that or how you would describe that. I know that when I write, I I want it to sound conversational because I really love poetry, but I think sometimes like a lot of people are turned off by it because they don't understand what you're talking about. And I, the reason I write songs is to relate to people. So I want to make sure they know the story. And so to me, I never try to make it, I never try to overdo the metaphors or like, Mm. I just try to make it honest while still having, you know, the art of songwriting, the whole country thing of like having the concept or whatever. But I think there is something really beautiful um, in just being honest about what you want to say and not feeling like you need to be super clever all the time. That's interesting because we love to do that in country. I think mm-hmm. there's a way of like, ta-da, look how, cool. like I made right. this word mean something new. Yes, but, yeah. And that's cool. But is that like, that could be a barrier to someone just like jumping right into the song? Yeah, it makes it, I mean, sometimes it works and I love the songs that do. Um, but for my personal style, I'm like really bad at small talk. I'm really, really? I, I really, yeah. I just like really don't like talking about dumb things, you know? So <laughs> to me, it's more of how emotional, like how quickly can we get to the point of our emotions and how we feel like, and if I dance around it by doing this never ending metaphor, then we're never going to really get to that feeling that I want you to feel or that I want to feel. Let's talk specifically about some of the songs. Obviously, this yes. song has been out for a second. Lady Like, kind of, to me, as an outsider, it looked that was the starting place. I think that was the, oh, sh-. kind of everyone was like, 
who is Ingrid and what the hell, this is awesome. <laughs> and I think we talked about it a little bit back in November when I saw you. Yeah. There's a lyric in there in the chorus. It's like, I've been told I'm not ladylike, mm -hmm. but I'm, or I guess it's the pre or it's like the last line. I mean, did anyone ever say that? Oh yeah. Oh really? Oh my gosh. All the time. Like all my guy friends would just always give me crap for like not doing things the way that they were used to you know, dealing with girls. Like like what? Like the stuff in the song. Like I, this guy, I was like talking to him about politics and like what was going on. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, what can you believe? Because it's a crazy talk. time. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how can we not talk about this? Like it is literally going down in the White House. <laughs> and this guy is just like, yeah, I don't really care about that stuff. I'm like, oh, you don't care about your He's country? Like, really pretty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, you don't, you don't know what's happening in America? Aren't you wearing like an American flag on your t-shirt? It's God's country. You should care about it, you know? <laughs> but anyway, I digress. It's fine. I had to collect myself. That was so good. <laughs> um, okay, you've had a pretty crazy year. You're about to have an even crazier next year. Yes. I want to hear about like what have been like the oh sh moments of just like, I can't believe this is happening or the things that have really surprised you. Honestly, getting on the tours I'm doing next year, the Dan and Shay oh, tour and Tim McGraw tour, that was an oh shit moment. Wait, have you met Faith yet? No. Okay, it's gonna happen. It's gotta happen. Oh, it is going to happen. <laughs> and I'm already like freaking out. Like, obviously I love Tim McGraw. Yes, but we love I, Tim. We can come back to Tim. Exactly. And I told him, I was like, I, I love you and thank you so much for bringing me on this tour. I was like, but I really only just want to meet your wife because- <laughs> She means the world to me. And so are you. You are a superstar, but, but like, like really she's yeah, literally, I was like, just so don't feel bad if like you hear me just talk about her because yeah. she means everything. He probably to me. is just as obsessed with her. Maybe he is. More. No, he, that's what he said. He's like, oh, I feel the same way. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> um, are you going to make her sing Breathe with you or what song are you going to make her sing with you? I don't even know anything really. It could be Mary Had a Little Lamb. I'd still be really <laughs> happy, you know? Um, and also Dan and Shay. So that starts even sooner, right? Dan and Shay does, plus yeah. Dan Camino. That's an arena and amphitheater theater tour I'm assuming yeah, the whole way through it is how are you preparing uh I am not no I'm just kidding <laughs> I have rehearsals like like I mean forever it, how long is the slot um I think it's like 20 minutes yeah that can be hard too because you like get in and you're barely kind of warmed up and you're and it's like time to go right but also it's an incredible moment if you can ca like Nobody's going to be bored in 20 minutes. Exactly. Generally speaking. Well, actually, um, <laughs> during, I was just in LA for the Grammys and I was talking to um, TJ Osborne. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I'd met him and we were having, Aww. he was like diving into this really deep conversation. I was like, oh, I love this. But he told me that I should really enjoy the times that I'm an opener because mm -hmm. you really don't have to worry about as much as when you headline, he's like, you start getting stressed out about all these other things when you are like the main headliner. And he's like, but I would definitely, he's like, I wish I would have enjoyed being an opener more because you just get to go out there and play your heart out and then oh, yeah. get off and yeah. then you're and then fine. Watch. Yeah. And which is an incredible way to just like learn. learn. And, yeah. yeah. So I mean, and getting to learn from Dan and Shay and Tim McGraw is going to be insane, I think. It is. I'm going to learn a ton this year. Congratulations, Ingrid. I'm so excited for you. Our newest Up Next artist. And congrats. Thank you. Yeah.